Hello and welcome to this web tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a, a, a JavaScript validation basically. It's going to validate an email address to make sure that it's accurate. Now this script doesn't uh, look for emails that actually exist, it looks for emails that could exist so it doesn't validate them to what actually is in the email. Uh, a bit hard to explain so I'll just show you. But that's not an email. So it says here it's wrong. So if I put dot .com on the end, then I instantly, without me having to press any buttons apart from typing, that changes to a tick to say it's right. If I do that by pressing backspace, it says it's wrong because one with just letters on the end with one letter. If I do test.com, still wrong because that is not an email. If I just do at test.com, that is still not an email. If I do test at test dot one 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 one, that isn't an email. It's got. If I do co one, no, it's not right. There isn't any emails with numbers in the last letters. Um. So yeah, that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Hope this one doesn't run over too long. Okay. So uh, first, we're going to start off with the HTML tags. Oops. Start and end the head tags. Do the body tags. I'm just doing all the tags. Otherwise, I'll forget. Now, first of all, I'm actually going to show you how to make the HTML form. Then I'll show you the validation bit, which goes in these head tags up here. Okay. So first of all, in here, we want to start a form because you no, know, to have uh, any of that equals form one. Just give it a name. Uh, method equals post. Now you don't have to. Uh, this is just you know, what you do. Uh, this form is actually going to be submitted. I'm just adding this in for the sake of showing you what a sort of form would look like. Okay, so we're going to do your email and add a line break to that. Now we want a form input. So we want input. Uh, we want type equals text. Oops, I'm not with it today, am I? Uh, okay, so we want. We're going to set an ID because uh, the validation is going to be based on that ID there. So we're going to call that email. Uh, okay, going to give it a name. It's email as well. I'm going to set a max length. So 60 is a nice number. And we want to get set the size of this box to 30 is a nice number. Okay, so at the minute this isn't going to be validated. <clears throat> right now to add the image part of it, because uh, you saw the image on the end of it here. You don't have to use an image but I'm going to use this image and I can make these images available to you if you'd like them. Uh, I probably will do that because they're quite nice images to use for validation. So we want to add this bit. We want image. You need to give it an ID again because this is what's going to... Uh, it needs to be have an ID to be able to change what the image is. Uh, so status Call it. So we need to give the image a source. So we want slash images slash bad because uh, first of all we want to say that it's not validated because there's nothing in the form. Gonna give it a style margin left. So if I put an M in there, margin left five pixels. Vertical line, and we're just going to set that to the middle there. And we're just going to give the image an alt equals status. Okay, so that's the image, but you don't need to worry about this image here. What we need to do now is finish this bit because at the minute it can't be validated, there's nothing telling it to validate itself. Okay, so 
We haven't created the script for validating yet, we'll do that in just a second. So actually, we'll create that now. And it'll add the validation bits to there. So, I want a script. Then we're going to set its type to. We need to set it less to uh, text slash Java script. Set a variable to variable of status to document dot get element by ID and then we want to get the status of this. Okay, so we want to set it to status to get the ID of that element. Then we want to set the variable email to document dot get element by ID. And we now want to set this to the email one which we created here. That's the ID of this one. Too. Now we want to set the status yeah, based the stand source. Uh, actually, no, we don't need to do this. That's this bit. Uh, I was actually just going to set it to that, but that's fine. Okay, so now we need to add a function to this. And we're going to call it check email. And we want the variable of this here. 